Hey guys, Remcore 411 and welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of my seven day series of videos. So, on this video, I had a special request from Meek Meek. And I hope I'm saying it right, Meek Meek. Meek Meek. I think it's Meek Meek. So, I'm gonna go with Meek Meek. She had a request for me to do a wash and go and to show her how the wash and go looks on the next day okay so i chose to use the myel uh, rx moisture product so what i have on my hair right now last time i did this i did it backwards but what i have on my hair right now is the myel moisture rx hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight conditioner that's what I have on my hair right now. So I took me a shower. I wet my hair. I applied the overnight conditioner. It's on there now. And then in the morning, I will shampoo and condition my hair. Mm -mm, I'm telling y'all too much. No, I'm not. I'll shampoo and condition my hair. We'll get go ahead and get started with the wash and go on day one and how the wash and go looks on day two. I'm even going to show you guys what I do with my washing goes at night. So it'll be ready for the next day. So I'm so excited about this video. Meek Meek, this video is for you. Alright guys, see you in a sec. Alright, so it's the next day. I have rinsed out the overnight leave-in conditioner. The overnight conditioner, because it's not leave-in. I've rinsed out the overnight conditioner. I have shampooed and conditioned my hair using the Myel shampoo and conditioner. Uh, shampoo is infused with avocado and ginger to hydrate your curls. Does that. The conditioner is formulated to deliver moisture and hydration to condition every hair strand. Does that. It 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 just it does it it does it so maybe that uh, that's just with this line i never tried the other line that everyone canceled out never tried it so let's get ready to put up this wash and go for meek meek all right i'm gonna go let's see first thing we're gonna do is take down the head wrap take down the head wrap that just fell on the floor and I'm going to separate my hair I felt a little soreness right here and I don't know what that could have been from I don't know it could I think be from parting it in the same spot I don't know I don't know So, I've, there, uh, if there is a leave-in, which I don't think there it needs to be a leave-in because there's so much leave moisture over there already, it probably don't even need a leave-in. But it don't have one, so I'm going in with the moisturizing gel. And I'm going to speed up this video because I want to do this while my hair is wet. Okay, so let's go.
so I have finished the wash and go. Okay, you saw me point to that area. That area was frizzy, so I went on and I added some more gel to it, and I added glycerin. Oh, oh, that was vegetable glycerin. I was adding to my hair to seal in all that moisture from before the gel and after the gel because both of them are moisturizing. So I will see you guys when I get ready to put my hair back. Uh, get ready to put my hair up for tonight and then I'll see you guys when I take my hair down for tomorrow hold tight all right guys so it is the end of the day you see the hair still has definition it is completely dry in this Texas heat I don't need a dryer I just have to go outside for a couple of minutes but it's completely dry I'm going to show you how I put my hair up at night to reserve it for the next day. And then I'm going to come back in the morning and show you how I take it down to get ready for day two. So let me take my little bobby pin out here. Oh, hold on. Okay, hopefully this will make it better for you to hear me. So what I have here is my little biotin and child. This stuff here is like, it's just, it's not biotin. Lord, it's, uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Shea Bay, Shea Bay Spritz, my Shea Bay Spritz. So I just spray my hair down a little bit just to moisten it up just a little bit. Cause I'm not trying to sleep with no wet head. Okay. And then I don't use no combs or nothing. I just take my hands, divide my hair gently. Cause I don't want to disturb the curls. Take the bobby pin out. Thought I did that. And then I get these little scrunchy things here. And I do it tight two times and it'll loosen up on its own like that hush candy and I do the same thing all over my head your uh, satin cap bonnet whatever you want to call it make sure it's big enough so they won't press your curls that's it and then I'll see y'all in the morning all right guys last clip the takedown from from the day before that's what we're about to do last time i showed you guys i put these up as you can see the curls and everything are still there i grabbed my um why do i keep forget why do i want to call this biotin juice i don't know that could be something the lord put in my spirit create create um <laughs> my spritz my shea base spritz losing it I'm losing it losing it losing it so what I do is I slide it off gently I heat it up with some moisture hold on I heat it up with some moisture come on moisture there we go
just to dampen it and work my fingers down to the curls. I don't rake it all the way through unless I'm putting some more product on it. So I work it down to the curls and then I pull at the curls. And that's what I do to preserve my hair, my wash and go. Meek, meek. feel that you need to retouch it with some of the product that you used you can do that I usually don't have to retouch it if I'm aware about two more days then I probably would retouch it with some of the gel like on the third third day but the, the uh, shape eight spritz is waking up the products so I don't need to add any more products in my hair I can feel my hair and tell if I need it or not if I see an area that's extra spritz extra frizzy or something then I know I need to add more And you tell them low porosity because I didn't warm this up like I should have. So it's just rolling off my hair. But I'm working it in with my hand to try to get it into my hair strands. Because if I would have warmed this up, then it would I know for sure it'd be going into the hair strands. It wouldn't be dripping the way it is. And then I just take my hand and crunch it up because that gel is going to react. It's going to reactivate itself to like that. Candy, this is embarrassing. You got you sounding like you're being abused. Cut it out. And I give it a good shake. Play with play with it a little bit. And I am this time. I'm going to put a little gel, but it's going to be that extreme gel, extreme hairline gel on my edges over here. So I'm going to pull this out, the extreme. Just to push this back some. I mean, you literally, you just don't, you, 
You don't need to use any tools to refresh your, your wash and go. As you can see, I just used some spritz, some DIY, DIY spritz, and my fingers to refresh it. And we'll, there we go. Still got balance, still got body. Not too hard. Feels great. So, that's your video, Meek Meek. The next day of the wash and go. How does it look? How do you keep it? So, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Um, the notification bell is a little icon sitting over to the right. Click on it and select all. Because I am on a seven-day hair series putting out seven videos back-to-back -back on my natural hair journey. And it's this day, let's see, twist. I think this is this is day three. This is video number three. So I still have four more videos to go. So if you have any suggestions or requests, make it known down in the comment section. Okay? And keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.